I swear to God, <laughs> Scientology, this is rolling, man. <laughs> I, I, I honestly, I cannot believe it. I can't. I mean, this is unbelievable. When I left in 2000 and I said there's an army out there, it was the critics. And they, I knew they were intense. They're very smart. They're computer geeks. They know how to put up websites. <clears throat> but I had no idea. I mean, this anonymous thing is like, you people are fabulous. You have no idea what's coming. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, so we're just going to leave it at that for right now. I'll just be very professional and tell you this is a great year. <laughs> DM, I warned you, baby doll. I warned you. Don't say I didn't. Don't say I didn't. I've been warning you guys since I left. I've told you exactly what you should do, how you should do it, what you should stop doing that's creating enemies, and have you listened to me at all? Have you listened to any of the ex-Scientologists at all? No. All you do is like, screw them, we're going to handle it. Well, let me tell you something, darling. You're not handling it. This it, train is so off the track at this point. It's All I can say to the anonymous people is, keep on rocking and rolling. And... To the people out there who call me saying, do they still do fair game? Yes, they do. I spoke to a gentleman yesterday on the radio who had the nerve. He's never met me. He's never talked to me. He doesn't know my marriage. And says, well, you left your husband, and that's why you were declared. He's full of shit. I left before anybody knew about anything. I left Scientology. Okay? And then I was going to get together with my husband and handle this. And no, I never got a chance to because Scientology pounced on him and then declared me a suppressive. And that was the end of it. He went, okay, I'm with them. I'm getting a divorce. You, leave, you left me. I said, I didn't leave you. I left a cult. And I still say that. I left a cult. And you know what? More people are leaving that cult too every single day. So this is a little thing. Actually, I was going to start talking about some of the front groups in Scientology. I want people to know, if you have doctors or dentists, I want you to get them some links about Scientology. Because they're there, just like they were this weekend, passing out Way to Happiness. Well, what do they do with Way to Happiness? I'll tell you what they do. They go to a doctor and they say, you know what? First of all, they survey the kids and they find out, oh yeah, we're really upset about drugs. Okay, so they go to the doctor and they say, you know, this is really a big button and this book, Way to Happiness, will help you. Okay? It's only $50,000, but we'll get out 100,000 books or whatever. It doesn't matter. The point is, it's it's a basic ripoff of the Ten Commandments. That's all, that's all it is. You know, in, in, which is free, right? But Scientology charges the dentist or doctor thousands of dollars. Your name will be on the back, right? And you'll help your community because of that. And what really happens with that? They go around saying, well, Dr. Smith is really for L. Ron Hubbard. Shouldn't you be? And it's like, Dr. Smith wasn't for L. Ron Hubbard. That isn't how you sold it, was it? Dr. Smith isn't for Scientology either. But now he is, or at least you're promoting he is. You did that with Coca-Cola, didn't you? And you know what? Coca-Cola at our last picket was honking their horns out there because you rats went and said that they, you, Coca-Cola was supporting you. <laughs> yeah, right. You know, we have had FedEx come by honking at us. When we say honk, if you think Scientology is a cult, we've had your male people come by, your neighbors come by. You people create your own enemies. I've told you that since the beginning. Anonymous probably would have been here for a month, maybe two, but uh, what did you have to do? Go screw with them? And that was nasty, really nasty. And now, God knows what else you're out doing, but I'm going to tell you, Davy Boy, you will never, ever, ever, look at my wits, never, ever, ever win stopping free speech. Ever. Not ever, not today, not tomorrow, and not yesterday. See, you can just look at your stats. They've gone down, down, down. You can bullshit all these other people, but you and I know, honey, your stats are not going up. <laughs> they are not. I talked to the guy on the radio yesterday. Oh, yes, Scientology is expanding. Bullshit. You go look and go look at their churches. 
other people in them or not. When we used to be in, when it was flourishing and prospering, there were thousands of people in Scientology orgs. Every single org filled. People were outside, inside, at the restaurants, all over the place. Now you go by, nothing, zip, nada, nobody. Nobody home, nobody want to be home. No, thank you, man, we busy, we not interested. Even the people that know nothing about Scientology, they're like, oh, no, 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 thank you, no, thank you. <laughs> you are failures, okay? And why are you failures? Because you keep doing the nasty things that you know are not right. You know, most of you know. Some moron that's never even met me is telling me I left my husband. I would never do that to someone. It's so stupid. And you th do you think the people listening are going to go, oh, oh, we better not talk to Tori. She left her husband. When it isn't even true, even if it was true. Let's say I left my husband. Who the hell cares? What religion is it that they should never talk to me again if I did leave my husband, which I didn't, but even if I did? Is that my church's business? No. N. O. And believe me, honey child, with some of these other churches and the stuff going on around there, and in Scientology, the stuff that you're doing, I don't really think it's any of your business to get into my relationships and what they are. But definitely, you lying about them is really a big no-no, because it really ticks off people like me. And so now today, two really great things happened that weren't going to happen at all, Scientology, and that's because you keep spreading that black PR. Every time you do... I told you once, you fuck me once, I'll fuck you twice, every time. You don't like that language, don't listen to Tori, because i that's the way I talk sometimes when I get ticked off. And I'm telling you something, DM, I am ticked off. And I'm telling you something, every time you get one of those jackasses on the radio or TV talking about me lying, you're going to see some more goody things happen. And they're coming, baby doll. All the anonymous people, good job. <laughs> This is nothing but good. It's epic win for us, epic fail for you, and have a great day. For any Scientologists who'd like to come out and are sick of this shit, give me a call. I'm here in Burbank, California. I'd be happy to talk to you, and I love talking to the people I talked to today. <laughs> Peace. Have a great day. Bye.